Hey there, Alex again. It's a real quickie this time. Uh, I'm constantly, since I'm experimenting with uh, printing and whatnot, looking for good deals on stuff. And I, I was just ordering a couple things from Amazon today, and I thought, why don't I just put some of these up on the interwebs so that everybody else can grab them while they're up there. So I put together a list of my top 11. It's going to be top 10, but I threw in a bonus. Um, deals that I found, and these are products that I have, I use, and uh, I think are pretty decent, especially for the price. So here we go. First one, RepRap Champion J-Head V6 clone. Now, I have this, I have the original, one of the better clones out there that I've seen. I haven't really had any trouble with jamming except regular E3D problems like too high retraction settings or whatnot. It comes with everything you need, the, the shroud, the fan, the thermistor, the heat cartridge, all that stuff. And you can't beat it for the price. It is all metal too. And I know that some of the J-Head clones out there uh, that say they're all metal really aren't. Next one. Stepper Online High Speed Steppers. I use these for all three of the main axes of my testbed printer that's over there. They're rated at 2 amps current and they have really low inductance, like 2.6 millihenry, so these things can move fast. They're solid, I don't have any problem with them, and when you buy them in this three pack, they're super cheap. Which me leads me to the next one, which is this Ziltec extruder. Slightly lower current, slightly higher inductance, so it's lower top end speed and a little bit better torque. I use this one for an extruder and it works great. Moving on to electronics, this is an Elegoo Arduino Mega Clone. It's the one that I use in my testbed printer. I like this one in particular because not only does it seem to sync up to USB better than my genuine Arduinos, but it has the pin designations written on the side of the headers. So that's real nice once you have it plugged in with like a ramps board on top of it or something and you can't read those designations anymore. Moving on to tools, I grabbed this DuPont crimper a little while ago because I couldn't find mine and I get this for $11.50. For 1150, it's pretty good. You can pay a lot of money for these styles of crimpers, but some of the cheap ones, the machining is really bad, so the pins will jam up and whatnot. This one, after you clamp it, the, the pins are still a little bit tight in there, but not so bad that you can't get it out, but you can't beat it for the price. These guys are a three pack of small breadboards that I use. For eight bucks, it's really hard to beat. That only comes out to a couple dollars a board, and they hold on to the leads nice and tight. Some of these cheapy breadboards are pretty loose. I've had pretty good experiences with these. And if you're looking to get some of the Texas Instruments DRV8825 drivers, I've used these, they work fine. They do come with a heat sink with the adhesive on the back. Some of the packs that I've bought don't, except the regular complaints with the TI DRV8825s in terms of the problems they have with the micro sipping, which brings me to these TL smoother boards. Now I either use these or make my own, but I have a couple of these right now on a printer and they work pretty good. The build quality is nice, the price isn't all that bad, and it does come with the extra connector wire. Now, I was looking for some better heat sinks for my Trinamic drivers because they tend to run hot, as anybody who has them knows. And I just wanted to tack some onto my Amazon order rather than hunting down some company that I hadn't dealt with and I'd have to order them from China and wait eight weeks. So I grabbed these. I think it's a kit for Raspberry Pi, and it comes with the copper guys too, which I'll I'm, I'm probably find some use for, but for five bucks for four of them, you could afford to even not use the copper ones, and you're still only paying a couple dollars a piece for the aluminum guys, and they do fit real nice on those step sticks. And here's something I found useful for 3D printers and other things, is this pack of 24 proto boards. They come in different sizes. The holes are clad on the front and the back and through plated. So that's very nice. I've actually never seen that in proto boards this cheap. So I'll definitely be reordering these in the future when I use them up. And finally, here's your bonus, Magic Space Black PLA. Now when I bought this, it was on sale for 11 bucks. And I thought this filament's gonna be crap for 11 bucks, but it actually prints pretty well. It takes a slightly higher temperature, usually black PLA does from these bargain bin type places because they'll throw some recycled stuff in there. It also tends to string a little bit, but for general purpose or structural PLA, it's a pretty good deal. I wish I'd bought two spools when it was on sale. So that's it, told you it'd be quick. I have links below in the description to all the exact items that I actually bought and use. So you can take that as a thumbs up from me that you're not gonna get screwed on them.
And just so you know, those are affiliate links, so they will kick me a couple cents or whatever every time somebody buys something through it. And I'll probably keep doing these in the future, because as all of you know, with buying online, the biggest risk is just getting screwed or not having something that was as advertised. But for now, have fun and get out there and make something awesome.